Hey, this is JD. Welcome to my channel. We're going to do a little bit of drawing this morning. I want to just show you what um, what I've been working on. So we have a um, a roller table here, and I'm going to just really try to draw a roller table. There is a roller table like this, and then it goes kind of in like this, and then like this. This is my artwork for the morning. There's a roller table, and of course the balance staff goes through the middle of the roller table right here. And the roller table actually has a cutout, and the cutout, I'm going to put, draw it right over here, and it just makes my life a little easier, right? So there's my cutout for the roller table, and the cutout would look like this here. And let me see if I can draw this in perspective here. Be like that. And then there's a the pallet fork, um, the impulse jewel uh, for the roller is, let's say it's right here, like that. You get a different color here, so I can make my point. There's the top of the impulse jewel, the head of the impulse jewel. And it's going through the roller table and coming out down here. And it is, I'll just draw it like a stick. Oh my God, what an artist. There's the impulse jewel right there. And <clears throat> the pallet fork is on either side of this impulse jewel. This is going to be impossible for me to draw, but I'm just going to draw the pallet fork. Um, in blue, and I'm going to draw it as, as like that, as a simple mouth, and that's the mouth of the palette fork, and I'm going to go up and draw it over on this side as well, and I'm making it like a V, although this isn't really how a palette fork would look, but I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. And let's bring it out like this. And then the pallet fork arm, this is the mouth, and then the arm would go out like this, all the way out like that. And then you would have over here, it would split where you have the two jewels, and you have over here the escapement wheel. Now, this is crazy big size here but another color here so the dart for the pallet fork goes up like this there we go and what that does is as the pallet fork goes left and right when this dart black here as the pallet fork swings say this direction and the opposite direction it's pivoting um let's say it's pivoting right here where the pallet fork is attached like this a jewel here and a jewel here this swings back and forth this dart has to enter this curve so this is the curve right here and the dart enters this sort of half moon and allows the impulse jewel, this impulse jewel here. So this is, man, that was a crappy arrow. Try to do this properly. Impulse jewel. It, it allows this impulse jewel to actually enter the mouth of the pallet fork and it ensures that, that the that the, the pallet fork will stay on this side over here after it, the impulse jewel exits the pallet fork. This dart here um, is only going to allow only going to be allow the pallet fork to go in straight. Um, if how do I explain this here? If it's let me draw it up here. There's it. There it is. There. 
And I'm just going to draw this up here for really quickly. Just draw it, you idiot. Exaggerate the drawing here. And this, use the same colors here. That is the top of the impulse jewel. And then we have the palette fork. Um, the palette, the, the actual uh, impulse jewel here. That was the dart. This is the impulse jewel. And of course, the palette fork is on either side of that impulse jewel like this i needed a bigger roller table by the way in this drawing <laughs> let me see if i can create a bigger roller table it's too bad i wasn't like an artist <laughs> i'd be able to draw properly all right let me see i need a pencil uh, 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 there we go. And let's say that's the center of the roller table there. So now I have the pallet fork is, is on either side. I'm just drawing it like this. And it's going back like that. And all the way to the jewels here. So, so when this swings um, in this direction, right? This dart can only go in to that slot when the jewel is in this position right here, that, that, that position right here. If the jewel is off over here, over here, then this dart would be riding along the side of the uh, roller table like this and preventing the pallet fork from from s this pallet fork here from snapping in this direction here and so you wouldn't have a situation where the jewel is on the outside of the horns of the pallet fork so that prevents it from being out of alignment or overbanked and there's a lot of people say that overbanked is wrong Turn because overbanked is when the the whole roller table swings around and the pallet the impulse jewel hits the side of the uh, pallet fork, right? So it's too much banking or overbanking. But I've also read in my books that it is also when the the jewel impulse jewel is on the outside of the horns of the pallet fork. So so that is really critical. So let me just get my eraser out for a second to clean this up just a bit. So what happened to the watch I've been repairing is that the impulse, the I had to re-shellac the impulse jewel on the on the watch, and that was fine. That worked, no problem. And then I had to um, I re-shellacked it, and what a mess! Wow. And then I um, saw that that I had a situation where the where the um, Get some rid of some more of this crappy drawing. My God, I had a situation where the um, the dart here, this dart here, was too far in this direction, um, and it was rubbing against the side of the roller table as it was as the roller table or the balance was spinning. And I was like, so when the balance is spinning this way and this way, this dart here was rubbing on the side of the roller table. It's like, what the hell is that all about? So what I did is I put the dart, or I put the whole, um, I put the, uh, the, the, the fork, the pallet fork into my staking set. I dropped I dropped this area here into one of the holes in the staking set, right? So this was nicely compressed. I put a stake in there, right, to hold down the pallet fork. So I basically staked down 
the pallet fork. So it was, and I just sort of rested it there. I just took my, my finger and I pushed down on this area here to basically put this rested on the staking set nicely. So this is the staking set and there's a hole there. And so this is rested nicely. Then I took a, um, a, another stake cause I wanted it wide enough and I'm going to ruin my drawing here. So let me get my eraser out again and get rid of all this stuff. And I took another stake and what I needed to do was bend this, this dart away. I needed to bend it in this direction like this. So I took another stake like that. And this is a big stake and I rested it against here. Now bear in mind that this was at an angle. So, so I had the uh, situation. I need to redraw again here. Look at the redrawing happening today, right? I had an angle here on this thing, kind of just a bit of an angle. And that angle was past the mouth or the start of the mouth of the pallet fork right there. So the mouth, the opening of the pallet fork was, was back here. And this angle was past that opening of the pallet fork. So obviously that was going to touch the roller table. So it wasn't touching the roller table or causing that friction on the roller table at all. Cause it was meant it managed to fit into that half moon. But once it, once the, uh, the balance went by the half moon, it started rubbing against the, uh, the actual, it started rubbing against the roller table. So I took a steak and not the type you eat. And I just took that steak like that. And ever so slightly after this was, this was, this here was pressed into the, uh, my staking set, I took another stake here and I just wanted this surface to be fairly big, right? So I wouldn't have an issue with bending at one point. And I tapped it ever so slightly here and I just tapped it. I used a piece of metal rather than a hammer because I did not want to use too much force. So I, I just took one of my bench keys and I tapped it on the end here with my bench key and I basically straightened this up. So it ended up like this. And then I put, I installed the whole mess here and the result was success. Success. Which means the watch started running and it's been running all night and it's very successful. So that is my story for this morning. I hope you enjoyed my crazy drawing. We'll have to do this again. So that's it. I'm JD. Thanks for uh, watching this crazy instructional drawing. Crazy. C-R-A-Z-Z-I-E. For you people that can't spell. Crazy. <laughs>